All right, let's get out the door today. What do we want to accomplish? Let's go double check our stock. I may go back to the, do we still have our park? No, we can go get some happiness from the park. And maybe open up a little bit early today. And hopefully make some money. A lot of you are pushing for the van as the first vehicle, so I understand that. Four star gift shop of New York City. We got to get as much of our business built up because evidently the 0.5 update will be out next week sometime. And it's going to introduce uh, rivals and uh, some other things. Or maybe that's on the roadmap coming on later. But uh, we want to definitely be in a good solid position for the update just in case uh, something drops that throws us for a uh, culture shock. So we definitely want to get the... Uh, Beer America up and going, so we have a catapult. I know some of you have already been talking about almost just died to a UPS uh, trying to um, open up like an electronic store and stuff like that, but uh, sit here for 30 minutes. But uh, we need to get this one go up and going first. We've still got a number of things that we don't have. Uh, ready to go. So I want to make sure that I have everything running in our little small space. And, uh, yeah, I'll have to go back and find what actually was on the uh, roadmap and see what it says. I know that they've got the experimental branch, but they're going to start pushing all that out, I think is what it said. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious about it. Oh my god, I'm just running into everything. Let's try to, let's open at 10 today. Make sure we got everything rolling. We're still trying to figure out. In the 7, ooh. I don't know if I like that or not, but we could try it. Looking at the road map. So it looks like 0.5 that will be coming out. It's going to have Lower Manhattan, so they're going to add a new neighborhood. Rivals, a new rival systems that makes taking over the neighborhoods much harder. And then UI optimization. So I'm already excited about the optimizations part because uh, that is something that it definitely does need. And I think, yeah, we're good on everything else. We don't have a lot of uh, stock. But I am kind of interested to see... If we um, make some money today, business is closed. Oh, 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 yeah, I guess I need to do this. Business is currently, it opens at 10, right? Oh, yeah, so it just, it just won't even let me. There we go. All right, so we'll see what kind of business we get. But yeah, I think this is 0.5 that's coming out. So I'm kind of excited about that. There's some very angry faces on some of their pictures. So we'll just have to see what's going to come on down the line. So yeah, Beer America, we got to get it stationary and ready to go. We got our cigars now. We've got our martinis. We need to bring in margaritas. We need to bring in whiskey. Uh, we're going to have to figure out how to make some space in the middle here. I may have to move the speaker over here behind me. We're going to have to actually get the floors and walls painted so that everybody will quit telling me they're ugly. So yeah, I think $8,000 for the vehicle is what we're all going to aim for. And that's going to take a while. Here's 11000 What's a Tierra Vic? Oh, that's like a Crown Vic. Okay. But yeah, I think the desert's what we're going to go for because it's got more space and then it's got that it's max speed is obviously very low but we're not going to be flying why would you need 70 miles or 80 miles per hour in the mean streets of New York we're also going to need some paperback well, we're, we're still got like 490 something but so we're okay on that but it's giving us the warning saying that they're halfway out dude does tend to get hungry 
wondering how, like, if these uh, signs, the wall product signs, just auto update if you change the price. I do feel like I may have beer too expensive because we just don't sell a lot of it. What if I bring it down 30 cents? I wonder if we sell any more of it. I'm sure it's the reason why we can't sell more of it is because the walls and floors are ugly, though. Uh, one hour. Let's see. If my dude can go another hour, I may uh, expand the uh, time we're here. Because uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. But I do know it falls off after eight. Unfortunately, you can't bring like a little snack with you. Yeah, we should be able to make it another hour. Am I being greedy? Yes. Greedy Steve is at it again. We we'll just a good dinner after this. This guy's buying martini. I mean, we sold a lot today. I, I can already tell. Oh, see, we just lost so much money there because they don't get the finish. Hopefully that's a fix in the next update coming up. We'll definitely have to figure out how to uh, utilize space. Yeah, what I was thinking is... I'd have to put that over there. Put those there. And then that gives us a little bit more room to... Maybe turn these straight, put these like this, put this like that. These could be against the wall, and then we'll have room in the middle. We do have... Can't get too in the, room, in the way of it. But we do have room here in the middle. So see, we could technically... We wanted to get this there's there's room for it now we would just have to figure out what we want to load with it right, so let's see how much stock we're really going to need this next day it looks like we're okay on wine we have three bottles of wine left good job we need these three bottles to go make I definitely need to flip these around so I load them from the front. Martinis we're okay with for another day. We have beer here. Cigars, we're still, yeah, we're still, oh, what, 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 what? I didn't want to do that. And, um, looks like we've got three beers left. So yeah, we are, we've got stock, but perhaps we go buy some more wine and beer tomorrow before we open, see how much money we've made. Let's sleep a good night. We got some good happiness going on with us. I'm excited about that. That's something we didn't have for a while. We made 1500 yesterday. We're down to one fresh food. All right, so let's um, definitely go buy some stock. Part of me is thinking about buying some whiskey, maybe. We've got money right now. But again, we're trying to scamper through and save for a vehicle to get that van. So that way we only got to make one of these trips ever so often. There's a business that went out. And I lost my happiness real quick for some reason. 
Alright, we're gonna have to wait for this place to open. How do I get my... I wonder how I get my business on this. I know you can call, like, a marketing person. That's probably something we're going to have to do. Contacts. Uh, supermarket specials. So, yeah, I'll have to figure out who I'm marketing. I may have to finish that business class before I do that. But I'm kind of shocked that I lost my... Um, it's only 10 hours for the park now. All right, so let's get some wine, some beer, and then maybe we get, we, we'll look at the thing. We, we need to get the basics first. We've got plenty of cigars. We don't need to invest in those just yet. Let's get, um... I'll get one box of each right now. That's definitely not enough. Whiskey is very expensive. So margarita and whiskey. Um, what? Well, it says we made 1900 yesterday. That's interesting. Oh, JH a company opened a new green salad place. All right, what's our demand? Chicken kebab skewers up. Donut, lettuce, pear, tomato. Uh, there's martini. It's still up there. Essentially, whatever the next one on the list is, is the one I'm going to get. Beer, whiskey. All right, so we'll get some whiskey and start selling that. We may be making another trip back. Because I surely know this is not going to be enough to fill up the... the shelf. But we'll see. All right, let's get back into the building here and set up the new stuff. I think we filled up all our shells with everything. We could use a little bit more martini here. And we don't have a big storeroom. Put that out there. Set the wine here. At some point I'll buy a shelf. I know, I'm not doing it proper. It won't let me just, um... Mess with the thing. Alright, so... Oh, 50. It's perfect. Okay. So what do we want to charge for whiskey? This is where I, like, always get into trouble, isn't it? 26 bucks. Let's charge 28.50 and see if people buy. And what time are we opening today? 10? Oh, well, good thing we're here. Um, yeah. I'm here. Quit freaking out. Oh, first thing she goes for is the whiskey. Okay, wait. If she bought it for that. Let's go straight 29. They're buying it for 29. Okay. Um, let's try 30. I know 30 is kind of way up there, but it is whiskey, depending on what it is. Okay, that person picked it up, but I'm wondering if the price had kicked in yet. So we'll wait for somebody else new to go there. Oh, they are. They're buying it at 30. So, um, 31. Until they tell me no. Oh my heavens. 32. 
I mean, I'm sure these prices ebb and flow. There's the limit right there. So let's go 3150 and see if that works. Y'all know I love to run the edge. We must maximize those profits. See, if you'd like to invest in Stephen Thomas uh, in my bizarre ways, uh, I have a Patreon page. All right, 31. Let's just leave it at that. And uh, if people could play now, we'll know they're just lying because, yep, they're taking it off the shelf. Whiskey is selling really nice. And I'm delighted by this. Mo money, mo money, mo money. Yeah, we won't have to do cigars for a while. But we're already probably going to have to buy more whiskey tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. We've already sold 13 whiskey at that high price. We got four hours left. Again, I wish I could see, like, how much was, like, going through right now. But, again, I guess you don't know until the end of the day until you run the report on the register. But when I worked in a bar, you literally could hit a button and it would tell you what your sales were. So you would know it's like, okay, if I've got my overhead today is $1,200. And you hit the button and at 4 o'clock in the afternoon before dinner, you're at 1100 You know you're probably going to cover your overhead and make money. Look at this. We have sold so much whiskey today. I feel like the uh, wine, whiskey, and martinis are selling way more than beer and stuff. Though beer is starting to go out a little bit more since I dropped the price. Beer should be kind of cheap. That's what you lure people in with, and then you um, you go from there. My dude's going to be super exhausted today. He's not our shifts to get you. Y'all better hurry and check out, or... Oh, yeah, we we lost a lot of business there. Look at this cleanup. This is ridiculous. I think I'll clean up. We'll go back home. We'll rest up. We're going to sleep at the uh, thing down here, though. Just so I can walk back faster. If I walk back like this, I would just go bonkers. Nice little pad up there. Nap for a little hour. Alright, now to get us home. Probably should go by the grocery store. We need to uh, get some food. Uh, I would like to eclipse the 2000 money made mark. It would be nice to get to the point where we can get the vehicle sooner than later. Then again, once we buy it, we're going to be broke. So, you know, some of the stuff that we're putting on our shelves is very expensive. Uh, I should have went to Elgato. Need to do that after work tomorrow. All right, let's sleep till tomorrow. We'll do the same thing we did. Get up at 720 is probably good. Ooh, we're very close. 1944. That seems to be. So we did make like 2000 And minus the $60. So that was a pretty good day. Today was a good day. All right, so let's head over here. We'll buy some product to put on the shield. Nice red van. That's the kind of van we're going to be looking at. Right there. Uh, maybe two more days of this and we'll be able to afford a van. You know, I bet we made more. That's probably taking out the cost of everything that I did yesterday. So we need to double check that. I'll pull the numbers in just a second when we get over here and we're waiting for this place to open. Definitely need to get like martinis today. 
So if I go in here, Oh yeah, we had a lot of customers right there before we closed. So we could use another whiskey shelf. Now I might invest in that quickly because that stuff is going amazingly well. So we made $2,500 yesterday and we spent 762 on bills. So yeah, we had an, that was our best day by far by adding whiskey into it. All right, so let's uh, get in here. I mean, if it was bourbon whiskey, it'd probably go a lot farther. All right, so two of those. We'll get some martinis. And I don't know what we else we. What was our? What was lowest? Wine. I think, uh, I really don't remember. I think I'll just get wine because wine goes so much more. All right. We're spending $900 right here. So if we make another 2,500, so yeah, I mean, probably two, three days may have enough to, uh, purchase the vehicle. Can we get a UPS truck? That's what I want to know. I feel like the UPS truck would be uh, beneficial to our means. And we could color it. It's like, what can Beer America do for you? And their uniforms could be red, white, and blue. I mean, I think that's just a brilliant idea. 70 years later. Alright, let's run in here to Pedersen and Son. I want to get another drink shelf need to hurry get another one of these product signs oh my god everybody's buying stuff today we spent a lot of money today but I think we'll be able to make it back because the whiskey I play frogger here whiskey here can help uh, pay for a lot of this and that will pave the way for the next time for us having the ability to get a vehicle and be able to just keep supply more normally instead of running here every day and like stressing out that we're going to open by 11 uh, we may be able to uh, get this you know where it's like okay we're, we're here and Alright, so let's put another drink shelf right here. Yeah, this is... Let's put this wall products on here. Put whiskey on that. Let's move this one to the back. I think we open here at 11. So let's... Fill this stuff up. It's throwing a fit. The walls of floors are so ugly here. Let's just park this back here and we'll go run the register. There's your cash register. Oh, they left! Literally, I'm in the building and they walk out. It's so ridiculous. So ridiculous on so many levels. Am I calling this petty? I sure am. All right, let's just sell, sell, sell. Here at Beer America, if you're thirsty, we got what you can drink. Bye, 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 so I can put some more flooring in. So I'm already thinking dark walls. 
And then uh, some dark walls. And then I'm not sure what kind of floor. Something that'll pop, obviously. I want the dark walls so my little neon lights show up. This cocktail neon, you can't really see it. Whiskey is just flying off the shelves. Have we changed the demand for that? Have we been responsible for whiskey? Oh, martinis are up. You love to see that. Does that mean I can charge more for them now? We've already got them charged pretty high. Let me see. We'll try to go up 50 cents on it and see what people say. Nope. Okay. So they have hard limits. All right, we're back in the good graces of people buying martinis. You love to see it. But yeah, we're doing the best we can with our limited space here. A guy is getting kind of tired today. That could have something to do with running across town. You know, we ran across town a couple of times just to get stuff in here. So we're sitting at 4,200 right now. If we have another like 2,000 day, we'll be at six. So yeah, maybe two days after this, we'll be able to get a van. We'll be able to keep our stock in much better shape. And then I guess the goal after the van, bearing if the update is here or not yet, it just depends on how much stuff is. They better hurry and check out. Oh, they did. Oh man, that was like perfect. Uh, is we probably need to get the floor and do some interior design. Because, you know, with Rivals, you're not going to be able to do what I'm doing with the pricing, probably. Is you'll have to run sales and stuff and, you know, just try to win. We probably need to go by El... i probably take a little nap. We'll go by the... don't want you. Uh, let's stock whiskey. Stock martini. Oh, wow. We're out of that. Um... Put these three bottles of wine on the shelf. So yeah, we're kind of running low again. Oh, yeah. We're out of wine. Uh, do we need more martinis? We do. We're out of a little bit of everything. I mean, going from being homeless to this... We're in pretty good shape. Here's three beer. We'll go ahead and put that on the shelf. And then, yeah, we got 50 here so we can restock that. So we definitely need probably two boxes of wine. We're out of martinis. We'll need whiskey replacements. Oh yeah, we don't have enough beer to... And then we're running low on paper bags. So it is uh, turning into a great fiasco. Down here and take a little quick cat nap next to this person. We just like, you know, sleeping next to people on the right streets. He's a little hour crasher here. And then we'll run over here to Elgato. Pick up a couple weeks of food. Oh no, are they closed? They're closed! Oh no. That's, uh, this is terrible news. Fruit market's closed. Green salad's closed. Zhang's is closed around the corner. We may be in trouble. I mean, I think we got one more meal to eat tomorrow. We go kebabs, kebabs. Are they open? They are open. Let's treat ourselves today. Let's get a skewer and a soda can. I mean, they're the hipness place in the world. or in the city right now. Oh, wow. That was like a full meal. I'm actually shocked. But that place smells good walking by it every day. Yeah, we have one more food left. 
All right, let's sleep until 7.35 in the morning. That's fine. Let's see how much money we made. 2300 after paying bills. Does that mean we had like a $3,000 day? $3,000 in sales. Hey, everybody. I'm Stephen Thomas. Subscribe if you have not. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's a plethora of ways to do that down in the description. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.